Welcome back to the channel guys, it's me, alright, just want to talk to you about a few coins, a few charts, I know some people are going to have some questions about Sparkpoint, um, if you didn't see my video on Safe Haven the other day, this is the Safe Haven chart, I'm still holding on this because I believe that we're going to get a breakout to the upside, I front ran it and I got in uh, just over here, okay, and I what I thought is we're going to get a W pattern and then we're gonna get a breakout. Now it's, it's safe, much safer uh, when playing with triangles, it's much safer to wait for the breakout. And when I say a breakout, I don't mean a wick up and then it comes back down. I mean a candle body close outside of this area, preferably on the one day, all right? But obviously when you trade in the shorter time frames, what you wanna see is preferably a candle body close on the, on the one hour and then on the four hour and then it probably will follow through on the one day as well. Um, this obviously you can see it's breezing up, it's being held by the moving averages nicely. It's tried to break out over there, got rejected, which I said in the last video, I expected to hit it, come down and then come back up. We tried to break out over there, but obviously it's weak down. But I don't think it, I don't think this move is finished yet. Um, it's indicative of a potential breakout coming very soon and it might take a couple of days to play out. Alright guys, it might continue sideways and then hit there and go up. Or you know, I could be completely wrong and it'll come down to test that level. And we're reaching there, we are soon reaching the apex of the triangle. So it's got to be decision time soon, right? Either to the upside or the downside. Based on the fact that this is trending on this line in an upward position, then I'm expecting this to break out to the upside. So that's safe haven, um, SHA. Yeah, uh, you can definitely uh, get a lot for your money right now is still um, almost two tenths of a, of a penny, all right? Very cheap. Okay, next we have Koei, another one that I've done a video about uh, previously. I definitely think that this is a gem and the long term potential is great. I originally bought Koei over here, okay? It came up and then we had a Bitcoin dump, all right? If you remember the big crash that, that just happened just a few months ago, well, that was here and we saw Cody come all the way down sorry no I think it was over here um, it was one of these anyway it recovered all right and now we see it consolidating but uh, well we saw it consolidating and then we broke up and these lines are all resistance levels guys all right and targets okay uh, uh, take profit targets okay now I got out of Cody and I missed out on a lot of this move because I actually sold when Bitcoin crashed um, a few months ago. All right, but I have taken a new position. All right, somewhere over here, and we're seeing it come up to kind of break out. What we did see is we saw it break out of this resistance. That was resistance from March up until July. Okay, so we broke out of that. We broke up. All right, through this level because it's a very thin resistance level. We hit this line up here, which is creating a new resistance for us. Came back down to test the previous resistance as support. Now it's coming up and it's trying to break through that level. If we see a break above that level, then it's off to the races. I personally believe the only resistance above that, you can either say it's there or I'd, I'd say it's over there because I expect a strong move to the upside. Could potentially say it's almost a double bottom, okay, but not quite. Um, it does look like more of an uptrend than a double bottom at the moment. Okay, so Cody looks like it could be in for a huge move to the upside. It's actually a DeFi project. Um, they've got a lot of things going on. They've got news coming out um, regularly now in the Telegram group. They've got new partnerships. Um, they've got uh, Cody Pay, and there's a lot of things going on for Cody. I really like this one for a long term hold. It's currently at four cents. A um, bit of a pain having to buy in at that price when I was previously in while it was a penny or less before. But yeah, Cody's definitely got some potential to the upside, so keep an eye on that. All right, I did a video uh, yesterday about this coin, Twee. All right, this it's actually called Tweeba. Okay, now this looks like a bit of a risky one to jump into. 
the reason why I took a position on this was because it is it has connections to the Rockefeller family and if you haven't seen my video from yesterday I will go and watch that the Rockefeller family are one of the wealthiest families in the world um, John D Rockefeller was actually named as the most wealthiest American to have ever lived and one of the Rockefellers fifth generation are actually a core member of the team of this product okay or project all right so that makes me bullish on this another thing that makes me bullish is the fact that it's just been going up and up and up and up all right so obviously you can see that this chart is going absolutely crazy i'm not really into buying the tops all right but i did take a position as a risk do you know what i mean like at the end of the day it looks to me that this is a strong chart and there's something going on behind the scenes that we don't actually know about someone actually told me that this looks like a pump and dump all right i got a comment uh, yesterday looks like a pump and dump to me uh well i mean look at that spark point does spark point look like a pump and dump i don't think spark point is a pump and dump all right but if you look at spark point pumping uh, from the 28th of july okay to the uh the 5th of august and then dumping all the way down there that looks a little bit more than like a pump and dump as opposed to something like this on tweet where it's been pumping since december okay december 2019 right and now it's all the way up here from under six cents all the way up to ten dollars all right and i'm already in quite a nice profit from my entry point yesterday i'm in no way telling anybody to invest in this i just thought i'd share my thoughts on it and let you guys know that this has a rockefeller correction so do what you want with that news i'm definitely not a financial advisor i'm definitely not saying to jump in while it's all the way up there i'm taking a very uh big risk by putting in a position on this and just believing that it's got a lot of more potential upside and i'll try in fact i'll go through it with you after we get through with just a quick review on spark point spark point is obviously uh you know falling as like i said it would i scaled out over here all right so i took some nice profits i do have a long-term hold bag that's uh quite down at the moment all right but um that's fine you know i expect spark point to go a lot further in the long term especially the fact that it's a DeFi project is still way 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 under a penny probably needs to go up another 820 percent to even get there and yeah i mean this could bounce this could bounce we've seen it come down we've seen a bounce all right uh dead cat bounce and we see um it, it rolled back over and now we could get a double bottom and a bear trap who knows a double bottom and a bear trap yeah and then a, re a reversal to the upside okay it's too early to tell all right just remember guys i can't tell you whether the market's going up or down i can only tell you what i think may happen and what to what okay so if this drops below uh, this level here okay then i expect it to go down much further because all we see is lower low lower high lower low lower high and so if we see another lower low then obviously it's still in a downtrend if we can get this to put in a higher high and then a higher low and then another higher high and then break out past this level past this level over here and make a new all-time high and break back into price discovery find some support above there and continue up then obviously my bias is going to be bullish all right but i don't have an opinion right now all i can tell you is if it goes down there then i think it's going down further if it goes past here it's not, we're not out of the woods yet we need to put in a higher low and then a higher high and break that level and then we, we, we should see some uh, uh, continuation to the upside all right uh, another review on a coin that i did uh, previously now this is the 15 minute chart and i've spoken about the fact that on x markets okay and this is the you do coin for example you can probably see it up there but uh, this is on x markets and it's the 15 minute chart if i change the time frame it's not going to give me an accurate drawing of the chart okay it's going to give me some ridiculous ridiculous in fact i'll prove it for you now if you haven't seen this is for the sake of those that are not subscribers and that are not watching all of my videos all right but if you have watched my previous videos you'll see that you do for example if i put it on a one day now that is not an accurate 
uh, point in the chart okay it's not at 17747 okay it's actually at 195 as you can see there which is why I use a lower time frame on this you know I'm not watching these charts 24 7 guys but I did log in today to have a look and see what was going on in the chart because obviously I've got quite an, an investment in it and you can see uh, we're getting a bounce um, now I actually took my position over here over there okay now all these arrows that you can see there those are previous positions that I took all right uh, as a trading opportunity so you can see my green arrow down here that's where I got in I was scaling up taking profits over there I tried to take another position over there because I thought it might continue up but it wasn't going my way I think it came up and then came back down what I did is I got out and just in good time because after that we saw it dump all the way down all the way down before we got this bounce over here all right so yeah that's not me keep buying and buying and selling and selling that is one trade all right and scaling out slowly 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 getting the best orders filled for, for my position all right taking another position there just in case so playing it safe taking some off the table putting some back in there in the hope they will go back to the upside but it didn't didn't go my way so what do i do i got out but i got out in a profit okay might not be a big profit but it's a profit nevertheless all right so going back to the 15 minute chart as you can see and full transparency guys all right you can't win every trade okay so as you can see this is where i took my new position based on the news that you do is going to be rebranded into hyper and the hype token hype all right since i got in um it did go up a little bit but it's a long-term hold and i watched it roll over and roll over and roll over and roll over all right before we saw a bit of a bounce okay which put me back into profit okay still holding low roll over roll over roll over roll over and now we're getting a bit of a bounce the reason that i'm holding this coin is because i am expecting the uh, rebrand uh, to the hype token and the hyper platform at the end of august i thought it was at the beginning of august which is why i took my position over here and then i saw an announcement that now it wasn't going to be until august around the end of august so august the 30th all right but i don't want to sell and take a loss for the position that I put in at the end of the days, all oh, we rolling over and rolling over. I did expect this bounce. Yeah, like I said in my previous video as well, the market normally gives you a second chance. All right, it gave me a second chance to get out, but I didn't take it because it's fine. I'm expecting this to, to continue to the upside, and I could be right and I could be wrong, but no risk, no reward, and that's the truth, guys. All right, I can see that sh uh, safe haven. Yeah, safe haven is still trying to come back and, and, and press on this level and bounce out. All right, so hopefully we can get that breakout. And guys, if you're following me on this trade uh, or this position, whether it be short term or long term, you know, um, yeah, if you do see a breakout over here, um, it's definitely a buy signal. All right, we see a candle body close above anywhere above this level. All right, it might even come up. And then come back down to recess and then shoot off to, to the moon okay well yeah if it does get rejected it might roll over it might bounce again but like i said we're reaching the apex of this triangle so it's going to be decision time either up or to the upside or to the downside all right now do i have time to cover twee i will try and get round to it in another video okay if you haven't done already subscribe to the channel 